test one two three how does my audio sound <laughs> Woo! well today we are going over audio because we're doing another microphone shootout ta -ta 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 -ta. What's up guys? And today we're doing, like I said, another microphone shootout. Comica sent me this CVM VS08 microphone. It's a camera that like plugs into your smartphone and we'll get into those details, but first right off the bat, unless you have like an old phone with like a headphone jack, it's gonna be pretty loose on your phone. But hey, Let's see what it sounds like, because you can always rig it up on a tripod mount. I gotta say though, the construction of this thing, if you look at it, compared to the Rode Video Mic Pro, they look awful similar. I mean, both metal designs kind of have the cutouts and the rolls at the same little spots. I mean, they, those microphones look very, very similar. Almost like they got the same manufacturer to help produce it. I know that my boy Alex Miner uses the Comica version of the Rode Video Micro and he seems to love it. If I can find that video for you, I will I will link it up in the description above. It does look like a Rode Video Micro with like this little headphone thing sticking out of it. And the other nice thing about this microphone is it's supposed to have a headphone out, out the back. And I'm kind of curious if you could plug this into the you know the microphone spot of your uh, camera and if it would work or not. Maybe I'll try it. We'll see. The build quality is there. It's a little though. Like I said, the design is a little weird with this thing sticking out. And because most cell phones nowadays they remove the headphone jack because you know everybody needs to go out and get Bluetooth headphones. Today what we're gonna do is we're just going to do a microphone shootout from. This Kamika, the Rode Video Micro, and I'll probably throw in my other one I use in the studio, the Boya MM1, which sounds very similar to the Rode Video Micro, which is why I use it in my studio. Always set up, ready for me to record. I know I've been a failure this past week. I'm, I'm really sorry. It might even be two weeks if I don't get this video edited in time. So let's get out to the shootout. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, 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 oh. If you want a chance to win this Comica microphone, I did a video about that on my last video up here in the description above. So, with that being said, go watch that video. Uh, it's my 100 subscriber video, and uh, I'm gonna give this microphone away to one lucky winner. So if you want a chance to win this, check out that video and see the instructions. Good luck. This is a test of the Boya BY MM1. Do I sound sexy? My voice sound good? It should sound like I normally do. And now we're testing the audio from the Rode Video Micro. And this is an audio test of the Comica. Now, how I have this kind of going right now is I'm recording you on my Sony. All the audio is coming from the Comica, so I have my phone up here and the Comica in the exact same spot that I would be. This is kind of like a studio test for you guys to hear how it would sound in a studio setting. So you could essentially, you know, use your phone as your main studio YouTube camera and plug this microphone um, into it to get better audio. And this is kind of what it would sound like if you would just get the microphone literally right out of the shot above my head. So that's, this is what it would sound like. It's plugged straight into the iPhone 8 Plus and it's just recording and then I'm syncing up the audio later with my Sony camera. So this is probably a pretty good test for you to see what the audio sounds like. So what did you guys think? Which one sounded better to you? Did you think you could tell the difference between them? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite microphone was of the three. Uh, for the studio setting. This is probably a, a decent microphone to use for uh, a YouTube setup. Uh, it is 50 bucks, so 
there are other options out there, especially ones that I have reviewed on my channel, but I'll let you guys be the judge of what you think the quality sounded like, because honestly I haven't heard it yet, but at the same time I, I kind of want you guys just to be able to decide and listen to what the results sound like. The other thing to mention about this microphone as well is that uh, it does include a wind muff, so if you were vlogging outside, you could do that. Uh, at first it was a little tricky because I was like, this wind muff doesn't really fit on the mic, it falls off, but what you, there's also a little foam piece that's included um, just to put on the front of the microphone, and uh, it fits on with that piece on, so all you do is just put the foam piece on. I kind of leave the foam piece inside the wind muff and just kind of put it on like that and it's it's not going anywhere now so that was that was the only thing I, I, I was a little confused at first but you got to put the foam piece on first and then put the wind muff they want a dual wind muff system So let's get this microphone outside and go for a vlogging test. Uh oh, really quick before I go outside, I put this together really quick and you know, it's not too bad, like it's gonna fall off if I put enough force, like, but it seems to stay okay if I do it this way. So I just have like a regular small case on my phone. And then I just use that little clip that's included in, and then the adapter, and it seems to stay. So I, I feel like I could get away with this. Um, still think it'd be a lot more secure with you know, the headphone jack, but this, this will work-ish. It'll work. Well, this is a video vlogging test on the Comica mic, plugged straight up to my iPhone 8 Plus. This is exactly what the audio sounds like from it. I'm in my backyard. There's a little bit of wind going. I do have uh, the dead cat on this microphone and I'm just kind of holding it on a like little tripod uh, setup. And it actually, the microphone is kind of holding in place fairly well for not having that microphone jack uh, in the phone to keep it steady. It's kind of just sitting on top of my phone yeah, it's actually pretty working fairly well. I could see people getting away with this. I'm not sure if you're hearing any noise or not, but my microphone cable is, if it bends a certain way, it, it makes some distortion. I think my cable is going bad. That's the cable that goes from the, the adapter that Apple makes. So if you hear any crackling, it's just that, not necessarily the microphone, but I'm trying to keep a, a good job of uh, of keeping it in the same place, so we'll see how it sounds after this video is over. But this has been an outdoor vlogging test on the Comica and my iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, what do you think? I think uh, it looks pretty cool. I think I could, I could get away with this. It's a pretty light setup, and the, the microphone, um, I mean, if it sounds anything like the Rode Micro, will sound perfectly fine for stuff like this. So let me know what you think. Well, guys. That has been a quick overview of the Comica CVM VS08. That's a mouthful right there. If it's a microphone that you guys are interested in, I'll leave links down in the description below. You just got it off Amazon. You know, get that Prime, get sent to you real quickly. Woo, it's real nice. But, uh, you know, let me know in the comments which microphone you like the best. Did you like the Comica? Did you think it has a place? Uh, in your studio setting or your vlogging setup. I mean, it, to be honest, if you're shooting on an iPhone and you have an older generation with a headphone jack, wow, great mic to pick up because, you know, it will snap in and really be secure without any need of an external tripod or whatever, what you may be. If you've got a newer phone that doesn't have a headphone jack, you probably got to jerry rig it. Um, I don't really have anything to jerry rig it, me personally, but you could get like a, a tripod with like a microphone clip on it and just clip it on and have the adapter go into the side, which is, you know, what you would get for any other microphone. The downside is, yeah, I did test it, a headphone jack out of the back into the camera and you can't use it that way. I didn't think it would work, but eh, figured I'd try. But the nice thing is, at the same time, is you have a headphone jack to monitor your audio, so you could plug a pair of headphones in 
to the back of the microphone and see what your audio sounds like, you know, through your iPhone. Because you, you really, when you shoot those things, you kind of just plug in the microphone and hope that everything sounds great. But you can actually plug a pair of headphones in and see what it sounds like. So that's a very interesting and unique feature for that microphone. But overall, it really depends on you, the viewer, you, the creator, to go out there and create some amazing stuff. And this could be a tool that you could put in your tool chest. I don't know, but I'll let you decide that. I'm not going to venture you either way, but you know what? You go out there and create. No matter if you have the gear or not, if you have a desire to go create, just do it and get your gear over time. That's about all I got to say about that. But anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you disliked it, I guess hit that too. And comment below. I'd love to chat with you guys. You can see all my social media links, connect with me online. I'd love to chat with you and I, I love conversation. I love getting to know you guys as a community and you guys are just awesome. So with that being said, do all those YouTube -y things and I will see you in the future. Oh, say hello to my little friends. <laughs>